All right, troop, this is Will Zanders. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Aloha Friday. And um, I wanted to do a, a quick video on um, some of the color personalities. Now, I did not invent the color personalities, but I love training on the color personalities. And they really, one of the things that revolutionized uh, my business for sure. And then in life too, because it'll help you so much more in, um, in your interpersonal relationships, but especially in dealing with prospects and knowing, uh, like my, my mentor is fond of saying, who's who in the zoo, <laughs> all right? So, uh, one of the color personalities that you're going to run into is going to be a red color personality. And you can always tell these prospects because they're going to be super duper uh, money motivated. They're really motivated by money. They're very, very competitive. Um, they're very bottom line. You know, if you come to them about how much your product is helping people, let's say, for example, I tell an individual, man, look, product, you know, Protanum is just saving lives all across the world and helping people feel younger for longer and adding years to people's lives and such and such he's not going to emotionally engage and you'll be able to tell um now if i were to use some power words like man we're going to dominate this industry people are making four or five and six figures a month uh you know you can verify the income disclosure documents online but we're trying to get paid if you talk to people like that and they engage their pupils dilate yeah that's a red personality type and they're money motivated they're very very competitive they're driven and they're incredible leaders the downside of dealing with a knowing a red personality or being a red personality type is going to be that they can sometimes be a little overbearing, can a little be a little bit rough around the edges, uh, kind of pushing people the wrong way. You know, it's not their fault. That's just who they are. They're so driven to win and they are literally driven leaders. And you know people like this. They're very, very stubborn, got to be their way. But if you know that that's who you're dealing with and you know how to communicate with them in ways that, that resonate with them, and use the power words when you're talking to a prospect they will emotionally engage into into what you you're, you're talking about you know sometimes if you're dealing with the prospect then you do a great presentation everything you hit all the points everything's awesome you cover everything it's great and they say man I really really like it mm, probably not gonna join though I, I'll, I'll get with you it just seemed like not a good fit for me they want to live longer they want to make more money but they just they want to help people, they want to have fun, but they just don't want to work with you. Why? Maybe you're talking in the wrong language. So reds need to be talked to in a language that resonates with them. And it's going to be a uh, very, very bottom line. How much does it cost to get started? How much money can I make? What do I have to do to make the money? Not a lot of emotion and things going on um, in there. Okay. If you could imagine a red personality type and remember, they make great leaders. If you can imagine a red personality type at the mall as a kid, imagine them in the red jumpsuit, like a, like a red hoodie and they're stomping their feet, throwing a temper tantrum because their mom didn't buy them what they wanted. That's a red, very, very spoiled, only child, but incredible leaders and some of your top, most of your top earners in the industry are gonna be red. They're gonna be 100% red, right? So let's, uh, let, let's move on to another one of my favorite personality types. It's gonna be blue. Now blues are super duper fun. Blues are not really motivated by the money per se. Blues are motivated by having fun. Blues love hanging out. They love the social atmosphere. They're always at the events. The, um, if you're talking to a blue and you, you, a blue personality type, and, and you can tell because they're super ultra talkative, they're the people who talk so much, you, you have to get a word in after they take a breath. I mean, honestly, they're probably talking to you right now. They just don't stop. And that's okay. That's just who they are. That's how their brain is wired. So when you talk to them, because they're super duper social creatures, you need to talk to them and use words like, man, this is fun. We have a blast. Man, our convention's in Anaheim. We're going to Disney World. It's going to be so much fun. We get to travel. We got these free incentive trips on cruises and things. You, you need to talk in words like that, okay, that, that just makes sense. Um, so that's going to be your... Uh, your 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 blue personality types and um they're just very very special they're super duper fun to be around but if you talk to them about this is what we need to do to make money this is how, how many people we need to talk to this is how much product we need to move how much volume we need to move for this rank to win this award and get on the stage and, and win the awards that's how reds like they're very very bottom line driver personality types blues no Blues are about fun, travel, it's a blast. Use words like that, it's fun. We travel, it's a blast. Let them feel your excitement and your passion about the social atmosphere of network marketing and they're more likely to engage because you're talking to them in their language and everyone's favorite radio station is WWIFM, what's in it for me? We know that, right? So you wanna make sure that you're talking to people in a way that resonates with them on the inside, okay? Uh, let's move on to another color personality type. We'll, we'll finish up. There are more, but we'll finish up with this one. Um, it, it, but if you could imagine a blue personality type, they're the kid in the mall 
who has a blue hoodie on and they're moonwalking, looking for attention, smiling, laughing, look at me, look at me, love the attention, super duper fun, but talk to them in words and tones and events that, that resonate with them. Fun, travel, it's a blast. If you're talking to red personality types, money, dominate the industry, best team ever, stuff like that. Get on stage, win the awards, you're the best. Talk to them in terms like that. The last personality type we'll cover today uh, is going to be yellow. Now, yellow personality types are different from red, that not, and, and all of them are very, very valuable to your team. Red, yellow, blue, they're super duper valuable to your team. Um, you just have to know how to talk to them and have to deal with them and have to learn how to speak their languages. And your, your success as a, as a leader will, will be uh, directly in proportion to your ability to identify leaders, help them succeed, and to navigate, identify, and speak all the color languages. There are only four, okay? And sometimes people will be 80% red with a little bit of blue. Like they love the money, they love to succeed, but they like to travel and have fun too. You know, so, so don't be afraid to say, whoa, everybody's not gonna fit in a 100% box. But I just wanna give you examples so you know what you're dealing with, so you're not turning good prospects bad by talking to them using words that don't resonate with who they really are and how their brain is wired. And you don't tell your prospect, oh, Bob, you're a blue. So uh, listen, this is what you need. I need to talk to you like this. No, 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 no. Just be natural. Be organic. Practice it on your friends and family and, uh, and, 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 go, and, go, and go that route, right? And, and be very natural and organic. I mean, you're a professional, network marketer. I mean, act like it. Um, so the last personality type we'll talk to you about today is going to be yellow. And if the key words for the red personality type were money, success, power, recognition, and the key words for the blue personality type were fun, travel, it's a blast, you know, social, party. They love party, love to party, talking, you know, they love the, the social atmosphere. The yellows are going to have one key word, and it's help. A yellow personality type is a person who honestly will do more for other people than they will for themselves. They are here purely in the industry because of how helpful the products and services are and how much, uh, how they can help people with the financial opportunity. And if they can get some, you know, money and help in the process, then great. But that's not what it's all about. It's the Mother Teresa type. And they're wonderful because honestly, when it comes down to it, if you're a leader and you're a red and your best prospectors and presenters are blues, it's actually the unsung yellow. The unsung yellow is the glue that keeps the teams together when the drama pops off. Honestly, because you will have drama if you build a large enough organization. That's just life in any business. So get ready for it. Get used to it. Toughen up. Buckle down and get it done. You know, um, you do the work here hard and solid one time and you can build long term residual income for life. So you want to have a team that's very, very multicolored um, and you want to be able to identify who's who in the zoo. The yellow personality types, when you talk to them, you really want to tell them, look, it would help me so much if you came to this business opportunity meeting. It would help me so much if you came to PBR. It would help me so much if you, 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 you got on this conference call. Listen, I just started my own business. I'm trying to stimulate my inventory. Could you take a look at my, my product catalog online and just, just maybe pick any one product just to help me stimulate my inventory? Man, it would help me out a lot. You want to talk to them in terms of help because that's when they're their best, when they're helping. They're not really concerned with the money. They're not really concerned with the product. They're really concerned with the, uh, with the ability and opportunity to help people. And if you can imagine a yellow person in the mall, the yellow individual is going to be the kid, the teenager, who's outside the dressing room when their mom's getting dressed and bringing the clothes over the door saying, Mom, try this on. I bet it looks great on you. And then taking the other clothes back and, uh, and bringing the other clothes, you know, back, back to the... Uh, back to the rack that's a yellow so this is will zanders red blue yellow green they're all important and part of your success as a leader is going to be largely determined by by your ability to uh identify other leaders and help them be successful but also your ability to identify the other color types okay and speak those individual color languages you see what i'm saying that's going to be a huge huge part of your success in the industry so i uh, hope that made sense hope you guys learned a lot we'll cover a little bit more later um again just loving nature today aloha fridays i hope you guys are uh, fantastic talk to you soon and god bless